Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is the remaining 30 questions. Very important question of the pipe inspector I will be discuss. So those people still not seen that 60 questions. Please go and learn the 60 question. It will be very helpful for your interview or any exams or in uh, you can say in Gulf or India. So let's start. So prior to start, I want to say one thing. Those people still not subscribe my channel. Please subscribe, then you will get the more videos like that. Also, I need your comments that this these all the questions are very helpful or not so i need your comments start question one what are the piping inspector responsibility so you are a piping inspector what are the responsibility yours so answer is the material receiving inspection that you have to give the answer just way like material receiving inspection ensure that approved procedure and itp are used by construction pipe fit up activities retention of qc report and records line checking hydro test activities and reinstatement re activities these are the all important responsibility of pipe inspector other than there are many responsibilities are there but you have to give the gist away what are the main important responsibilities question number two how can you identify an iso in iso in a pnid so in a pnid how you can identify an iso line number service instrument equipment and slope this is the things we have to check in your pnid then definitely iso you can identify question number three what is an insulation kit answer is to isolate between above ground and underground so insulation is must be must is required in the pipeline or piping to isolate between above ground and underground this is the answer so question number four is what is insulation gasket you should know this answer isolation of dissimilar metal flanger joints this is the isolation of dissimilar metal flange joints insulating joints for cathodic protection that is the picotech gasket you can say so question number four spin is question number five what are the picotech gasket and what are their limitation limitation answer is it is non-metallic gasket it is the non-metallic gasket made of self energy teflon seal supported by glass reinforced epoxy laminated to 316 steel iron core so this is for the picotech gasket their limitation the minimum required gap shall be 3.2 mm it shall not be used service with temperature 154 degree centigrade or higher it shall not be used in hydro hydrocarbon gas service in which flange rating is 300 or higher or it shall not be used in chemical compatibility of non-metallic complement with the component with the service media so this is the limitation you should know for this picotech gasket question number six what are the general points to be checked prior to hydro test this is a very important question so you should check all the questions then you will understand don't skip this video these are the all helpful question for you answer is seal well threaded with nipples from headed to first block of valve per grds l 100 so don't confuse or you are, should not be confused this standard this standard is the aramco standard so this is the seal oil threaded nipple from header to first block of valve. So this is you have to check in your client in your project specification. What are the check point you have to check in general point to be checked to be prior to hydro test. Second is guides are in direct contact with piping horizontal run at three location that should be 6 mm gap required. Relocate guides for towing. These are welded to the pressure boundary. Check valves is oriented in the wrong direction reverse check valve to assure correct flow direction reposition valve and restore internals immediately after test company to witness so this is the general points we have to check prior to hydro test it will be continuing from the previous page piping clearance to structure bracing piping clearance to the structure bracing is 50 mm spacing required install permanent gasket at flange sets 1456 on iso drawing per approved Talk table and install spectable blind oriented as per approved PNID. Completely remove all water and debris from low point. You have to remove valve cavity for the for the inline valves with SS400 trim. Do so immediately after test clean with dry compressed air and 
relubricate sealing surfaces with the approved lubricant in preparation of ambient layout specified test package so these are the all important point indicate no punch item as applicable qa is reviewed and initiated dated prior to package certification to verify completeness so package should be verified prior to start the silo test no punch item should be there so all these are the very important point you have to know prior to do check of hydro test so question number 7 what is this what is ncr cr and dr NCR is the non conformity report a record reporting the variation from the specified requirement CR means corrective action report a record reporting to the action you have taken to eliminate the effect and cause of an existing non conformity defect of or the undesirable situation in order to prevent recurrence and DR means deviation report that is very important a record of the concession granted by client by or owner to certain deviation from project specification that is called the deviation report question number 8 what are specification specification means are guideline details for construction requirements to assure minimum quality standard are listed and met so specification means you have to do the work as per the minimum quality standards and listed and met it is mentioned one of the specification question number 9 what is and sees answers that is called safety instruction sheet that gives full design details related to piping system or line so this is very important some times the uh, people are confused of this question si is means safety instruction sheet that gives full design details of piping system question number 9 question number 10 what is schedule queue this is people knows only those are working with aramco this is schedule queue means schedule queue stand for if you are interview in saudi definitely this question will be asked for you schedule queue stand for on our minimum quality requirement for contractor sub contractor quality system so answer will be this so question number 11 question number 11 what are the points to be checked before pipe fit up so before pipe fit up what do you need to check you see here some important point is there oil moisture rust scale sand paint metallic coating all other foreign material shall be removed from the weld surface at least 25 mm base metal prior to welding including any such coating or temporary attachment or support pipes and fittings for fit up will be placed on temporary pipe bed will make sure that supports are secured properly these are the important point these are the also after in preparation you fill with the alignment fit up and tack well activity shall be carried out for the purpose of exact pipe full factory fabrication d is line pipe component fit number joint number fit up inspection signature welder number visual inspection signature all should be completed near to the joint with bed with metal paint marker so all these things need to be checked prior to fit up question number 12 there is damage in the receive material what do you will do you are a inspector what you will do is you see somebody in receiving material there is a damage all damage material shall be placed in quarantine area with visible identification material over sort damage report os and i and d shall be used a non conformance report shall be raised for material with severe damages so non conformance report should be raised qc inspector shall monitor all the os and d and ncr issued and their corrective and preventive action taken non conformance material shall be clearly marked segregated and control that there should not be any other unauthorized person used for that one their final disposition disposition formally documented and recorded so this is the damage you have receiving material what you will do question number 13 how will you store the material in the storage area it's not like you have some receive material you have uh, storage the material in your own way but there is a procedure she the procedure all material shall be handled with care during fabrication and installation to prevent damage in production of pipe flanges well bevel thread socket ends should be firmly attached pipe pipe shall not be rolled or dropped off tracks end bevel protector shall remain on pipe fittings with while in storage 
Flange face and thread shall be protected from rust by applying suitable rust preventive. After completion of prefabrication, the spool shall be clean, free from oil spatter, arc strike, and foreign material. Lined and coated pipe fitting shall be lifted with the white fabric and rubber cover sleeves. Recess material shall be covered, protected from water splash or other contamination during storage. This is a very important for recess material. So all these things are very important for point you have to know. Question number 14. What is this? What are the ASME codes for flanges? ASME code for flanges is ASME B16.5. If you go ASME B16.5, then pipe flanges and flange fitting that is up to 24 inch and ask me b16.47 it is large diameter flanges that is above 24 inch this is the two courses here one is up to 24 inch another is above 24 inch question number 15 question number 15 what is the code for pmi so if you go the in Aramco, that is the code ASCESA206, that is the code standard you have to check for PMI. Question number 16, how you inspect the flash grinding? So, flash grinding, how you have to check? Answer, any distortion resulting from the bar tool shall be removed and ground flush with the inside diameter of the pipe, always PT shall be done. The inside surface of the welded joint and orifice flanges shall be so this is the requirement of the inspection of the flash grinding. Question number 17. What things are found in piping isometric drawing? What you have to check? What you check in isometric drawing? Line condition, reference to drawings, materials of construction, continuation, that is orientation, piping and drawing details and notes, revision control and approval status. These are the you have checked in your isometric drawing. These are you can find out in your isometric drawing. So question will be like this. What things are found in a piping isometric drawing? Question number 18. What kind of inspection required during gasket installation? You see there are so many points are there. Each points are very important but you have to give the answer in a gist way. So QC piping inspector will ensure the cleanliness of the gasket surface of the flange. QC piping inspectors have verified on site prior to installation each gasket has to the proper material size and rating according to the drawing. For gasket 24 inch and less color coat of the gasket shall be applied on the outside surface. For gasket 24 inch and above will be marked in two locations each. Spiral room gasket should have the three color which identify the particular metal spec rating gasket and with inner ring respectively. During reinstatement, QC piping inspector shall verify that bolting is tightened according to the this code. It is as per the client specification. QC inspector shall inspect before hydro test and during lines installation that all permanent gasket, uh, gasket are installed accordingly. So these are the all important points but you have to just give the short answer to your interviewer. Question number 19. What is the difference between torquing of CS and SS bolting? Answer is yield strength of CS is greater than SS. So yield strength of CS is greater than SS. This is the simple reply. Question number 20. How many threads can be visible after seal welding thread joints? Zero. So you cannot see any thread after seal welding thread joints. Question number 21. What is the basis difference? between pipe specification A106 grade A, grade B and grade C. Difference is due to the carbon content. So, you know the difference is due to the carbon content. So, what is the carbon percentage? If you go percentage of carbon content in HTM A106 grade A 0 0.25, A106 grade B is 0 0.30 and A106 grade C is 0 0.35 percent. This is the answer. So question number 22 is what is WPS? This is very important question. Answer is a welding procedure specification. It is a formal written document describing welding procedure which provide direction to the welder or welding operator for marking for making sound and quality production oil as per the code requirement. This is a very important answer. If you give this answer definitely they will satisfy. Question number 23. What is PQR? PQR a record of welding variable used to produce an acceptable test weldment and the results of test 
conducted on the old main to qualify a welding procedure specification means first the test if it is accepted then pqr procedure qualification record then definitely the final wps we can see so final wps we can approve question number 24 what is pmi verification that the nominal chemical composition of an alloy material is as specified and ordered so we have to check the nominal chemical composition of an alloy material that is called positive material identification question number 25 what are the gauges used for fit up bridge cam high level gauge high low gauge so these are the two uh, gauges we need to check for fit up question number 26 what material used for drinking water service galvanized steel surface steel material we have to use for the drinking water service question number 27 what are the types of bolts and specs answer is a 19387 a 32088 and drl109 you can check in aramco all this bolts and nuts uh, bolts or types of bolts and spec is mentioned so this is the answer a 19 a 32088 Question number twenty-eight. What is color coding? Color coding is nothing of piping bulk material to identify the metal. Piping of piping bulk material to identify the material. Question number twenty-nine. What are the different section of ASME code? What this section are refer? So this if the question is asking this question asking by interview. So I have to give some details answer. ASME section one. What is this? Ask me section two part A part B and part C. What is this section four, section five, section six, section seven, section eight, section nine? All these give the details. Rules of construction of power boiler. Ask me section two is A is ferrous material, B is non-ferrous material, C is the specification for electrode and filler wire. Section four is rules for construction of heating boiler. Section five is non-destructive examination. Section six is recommended rules for care and operation of heating boiler, and section six is recommended. Seven is recommended guidelines of care of powder boiler, power boiler, and section eight is there is two division rules for construction of pressure vessel, and last is section nine that is for welding and bridging qualification. These are the as me section nine detail as section details. Question number thirty: What type of PMI machines are available? X-ray, fluorescence, and optical emission spectrography. These are the available machine in in the market for PMI. Question number thirty-one. For source surface and nest, which material is used? Very important question. HIC carbon resistant material always used for the nest or nest surface material for source surface material. Question number thirty-two. What type of cutting used in SS? Type of branding wheel and how to identify them? plasma arc cutting required and grinding wheel types of grinding wheel are iron oxide zirconium and aluminum oxide for cutting used in sf identification by color coding so blue so this is the this type of cutting used plasma arc cutting or grinding wheel you have to use the sf and how the types of grinding wheel is iron oxide you can say zirconium or aluminum oxide Identification by color coding it should be blue. Question number thirty three is name of different types of service condition. Answer is temperature, pressure, and fluid type. Three types of service condition is there. One is temperature, pressure, and fluid type. So hope you understand the all ninety questions. This all ninety question is very helpful. Those people still not understand the any questions or quay, uh, just let me know. I will explain to you. and those people still not subscribe my channel please subscribe then you will get the more videos like that and the next video is very interesting video how to manufacture the electrode i will give the explanation so thank you and have a great day